Hey y'all, welcome to Unboxing Discovery by G. My name is Gina and Miss Callie has ditched me again today. She is laying up in bed all asleep without me, without me. Yeah, I'm over here all working and stuff and she's on the bed. What's well, okay, we'll try on some clothes anyway without her. Maybe she'll make appearance later. So I have an Amazon personal shopper, try before you buy. This is a service that Amazon puts out for their Prime members. If you're not a member of Prime, I do have a 30-day free draw, a link below. Um, Y'all know Amazon, they have everything under the sun and then some. And oh my goodness, the deals that are fixing to start coming up with the Black Friday sales and stuff. I'm just, oh, yeah. I'm thinking about getting me another Roku. Y'all have a Roku? I like the Roku. Uh, let you play all of your apps and stuff. Oh my goodness. I'll put a link below to the one I'm looking at. And I'll put a link below to the one I bought my hubby for his travel. Um, but yeah, we're going to talk about clothes. Um, I got a box and a bag and I got, what, five days left to try everything on. Let me go through the, the, the rigmarole of the um, personal shopper. Now, on top of your Prime membership, it is going to cost you another $4.99 a month to get this personal shopper that is not credited back to you, but $5 to see if you like this stuff. I don't think it's too bad for them to pick you out outfits. I'll show you outfits over here on the side so you can see what they suggest to me. They send you several different outfits, several different options, and then you pick the eight pieces that you want sent to you. Uh, you have seven days to try everything on and decide if you like it or not. Um, they have, you know, what do you call it? Eight pieces. I think I said eight pieces. And you only keep what you're paying for. You don't pay up front except for that five bucks. So I love that. Let me just, yeah, here's, here's the bag. Yeah. This bag is resealable, so you can put everything back in here and send it back to them. Just make sure you have the piece with the right label. If you get more than one box like I tend to do. Everything is going to be individually sealed. I'm going to unwrap all this stuff and I'll be right back to show you what I got. Y'all, this one is shrink sealed. I'm kind of scared to let it go up. Hang on. Let's just see what it does. How do you open this thing without tearing what's on the inside? Uh, oh, I hear the noise. The air is going in. La floof. I don't know why I thought y'all would want to see that. <laughs> All right, I'll move on. One bag unpacked, one box to go. Right, let's have a sneakity peek inside of the box. This is juice. Okay, most everything is unpacked. I got jewelry, y'all. Ooh, I got jewelry. This is the Ben M M Moon Morocco Coin 24 Karat Gold Plated Vintage Earrings New York Fashion Jewelry. And it is $43.34. Comes in a fancy baggie, or with a fancy baggie, I should say. They weren't actually in it. They're nicely wrapped. Made in the USA. And they're cute. They are coins. I'm looking at it like I can actually read any of this stuff on here. I don't even think it's in English, y'all. <laughs> but they are cute. They're cute earrings. Will I keep them for forty-something dollars? Probably not, but they are adorable. And they actually have stuff on the back too. They look like real coins. That's pretty cool. I don't know if y'all could see it if it's reflecting too much or what. They're cute. What if there's some kind of real coin? One FR, 1978. Really not. The little one says 10 cents. Huh. Really cute. Interesting. Interesting. 
I just don't want to pay $47 for them. We have, and I, when I saw the picture of this one, y'all, I was not sure about it. But I wasn't sure about a lot of the stuff. So it was kind of just a, okay, let's just go ahead and pick something ended up thing. Um, it, it does a thingy with a thingy and then it comes out to the thingy, you know. But boy, does it need to be ironed. So it's got this gigantic ruffle. It gives you an off the shoulder, but these straps are going to come up and kind of cross in the front and go over your shoulder. That's why I wasn't sure if I'd like it. It goes straight across in the back. And it has this big ruffle with these almost tassely things around the ruffle. I don't know that I'm going to love it. Too off the shoulder for me. And too wrinkly looking for me. But it's kind of made that way on the sleeves. What does it say this is? Kinsley Women's Crinkle Cotton Halter Three Quarter Sleeve Top White Extra Large $42.15. It feels like it's double layered. Yeah, double layered. So the cotton wouldn't be too see through. 99 cotton, one spandex. Hand wash separate, cold water. Don't twist, don't twist it, don't wring it, lay it flat to dry, uh, block to shape, cool iron or dry clean. Block to shape. Somebody tell me what that means. You're supposed to put blocks on it to make it keep its shape? <laughs> I don't know about this one, y'all. I don't know about it. Okay, next in that particular box are these shoes. They are J. Adams. We've got you covered. Yeah, these are too summery for me for this time of year. Um, I figured they would be, but they're very, you know, they've, they've got the cute little cutout up here. Little heap, uh, heel zip on both sides. They're very cute. They're just more for summer, in my opinion, than for fall and winter. So just the wrong time of year for this particular shoe. But they are cute. What does it say they are? J. Adams Tracy Performance Flat Booty. A casual open toe, low heel, cutout shoe, light brown, seven and a half, thirty dollars and ninety nine cents. I mean, I think they're cute. I'd probably wear them in the summer. But I don't know if I'd wear them fall winter. This is faux suede, y'all. Y'all know I love faux suede. Uh, I have a thing for it. I've got it all through my closet. And this is a cute little jacket from Angeshan Faux Suede Jacket for Women Casual Long Sleeve Button Notch Collar Short Moto Biker Coat Fall Dark Khaki Extra Large. $35.19. Bonnie, what are you eating? All those bowls are empty, child. And she's licking them, wishing they had food in them. I think it's cute. I like the moto look to it. Let me see. Two buttons in the front. They're buttons or snaps. They're actual buttons. Sometimes I don't love buttons when it's cold weather because it seems like my fingers get cold. I have, um, what do you call it? Um, when your hands get cold, go numb, kind of turn blue at the ends. Um, Raynards, I think they call it. And then your, your hands don't want to work right when you have that, when it's cold. So I don't know that a button would be the best for me, it is 90 polyester, 10 elastine, wash with light colors, machine wash, cold, gentle cycle, humble, dry, low, low iron if needed, dry, cleanable, and gentle cycle. I don't know that I love the inside of it. Hmm. We'll try it on. We'll see how it goes. It's cute though. I mean, the outside's cute. And then I have this shirt that looks like you'd be ready to go on vacay with it. Hang on, let me figure out how, how it works. Um, 
it's got a tie attached to it. That's what that is. So you got this separate tie. You have a, a V-neck in the front and back. It's nice, it's airy, it's cute. She got this jacket in it. Hi. I'm like, I've never had one like this. This is Jessica Simpson. Y'all know I have a love-hate relationship with Jessica Simpson. Uh, women's Days Neck Tie Long Sleeve Twilly Blouse Fiery Red Sporadic Blossom Extra Large $49.49. Yeah, it does have sporadic blossoms on it. It's cute. It just doesn't seem like the season. Maybe into the spring, but really summer. It's like a cold summer night kind of look. <laughs> Okay, these are silver jeans, and when I pulled these out, the first thing I saw is that they're mid-rise. Y'all know I don't do mid-rise. They make you look horrible muffin top. I go hot rise. Uh, so I'm not sure about these either. I do like silver jeans. This is a silver jean company, Will Women's Suki Mid-Rise Slim Bukit Jean Legacy Dark Comfort Stretch. 31 women's 31 long they are $53.11 so besides the fact that they are mid-rise I do think they are cute I like the wash of them I like the boot cut or the slim boot I think they have cute whiskers what is it Bonnie I think they're cute Fairly sensibly priced. Hey, Bonnie. How you doing, baby girl? How you doing? You want to sniff mommy? Yeah. She likes to sniff me. I don't know why. Another pair of jeans. These are Lee. Lee Women's Sculpting Slim Fit Skinny Leg Jeans. Nightingale is the color. They are size 12. $38.90. Mine Lee is just okay. I mean, it's, it's a classic denim. I don't hate it. I don't love it. I don't know how I feel about the wash of it. I, I like the whiskering. It just looks very dark in person, almost like it would rub off. Um, I don't know why I'm getting that vibe from it. Definitely would wash them before I'd actually wear them. They're more of a structure feel to them, even though they got plenty of stretch in them. These are mid-rise as well. Uh, I guess I did not look at that when I picked my items. Sometimes I go through and I'll pick everything that she has um, for me. And I did not read my stylist note to you. I bet it's on my computer. I mean, my phone, not my computer. Uh, sometimes I'll go through and pick the whole, everything she has in that picture, everything she's put together, like the first couple. Uh, and see how the outfits go. All right, let's look at this last thing that has giganticized. How would I ever get this thing back in the bag is kind of what I'm thinking if I don't keep it. Oh, but it's like blanky soft. Can I just keep it as a blanket? Uh, you know, forget about wearing it. Let's just keep it as a blanket. This is from Pretty Garden. Oh, it does have, oh my goodness, it's cute. <gasps> this may be the winner. Pretty Garden Women's 2022 Winter Coat Fluffy Fleece Long Hooded Jacket Button Down Faux Fur Warm out, Outwear with Pockets. It is $46.99. It has a hood. It's this cute camel color. It'd be like wearing a blanket. It's long. It's so long. Oh my goodness. This is awesome. This is so cute. I just want to put it on and take a nap. Mm -hmm. I want to put it on and take a nap. So actual buttons. We talked about that already. There are two. One on the inside, one on the outside. It's got pockets. All right, bestie. I know you're going to want it too, aren't you? <laughs> Yes, because we like the same stuff. 
and it just makes me think you'd like it too. 100% polyester, wash with light colors, machine wash color, gentle cycle, tumble dry, low, low iron if need, yes, okay. We're just going to have to put this one on. This I like. Oh my goodness. It's so long. This would be perfect for, you know, walking the dog in the cold. That's where my mind goes. <laughs> yes, I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay, what did y'all think of this month's Try Before You Buy from Amazon Personal Shopper? Uh, my personal shopper is Brianna. I'll have to go back and see if I can find that note. And I'll put it up on the screen. Maybe I'll do like a little into the microphone read it to you or something with the screen up since i don't i can't do it right now but anyway welcome back your personal stylist brianna is back with some fresh fall picks we have to talk about this pretty cardin's teddy coat stay warm while looking stylish in this shearling textured coat i'm also loving these j abrams boots the cutouts and wooden heels give a rustic bohemian edge. I also recommend trying these Lee jeans. If you're in the market for a new pair of skinnies, this pair is made of power stretch denim that retains its shape without bagging for a flattering fit. There are so many more to dig into. As always, you can try eight items for free how did you like this new collection? Please me, leave me some feedback so I can fine tune your future styling sessions, Brianna. I want to hear all y'all's opinions. Let me know what you think. Are you liking what I'm liking? Are we digging it? Or are we not digging it? I'd love it if you press all those lovely YouTube buttons. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Subscribing is free and I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to press that notification bell and the thumbs up button. Um, share with your friends and there's two ways to, to tip down below. Super thanks. Or you can buy me a coffee. The link is in the description box along with links to all of these products. If you want to try any of this stuff, affiliate links. I appreciate it if you click any of my links. I'll show you what I'm wearing today. We're going to try this stuff on. I'll be right back. So here is my outfit for today. I'm wearing these Can Can cute little pants. Uh, my Cardi is Martin Spruce from Stitch Fix. This top is Mason and Belle. I think I got it from Stitch Fix. Um, I think I got this from Transcend by Ever Eve. These I got from Transcend by Ever Eve. These are peepers. They're blue blockers. All right, let's try on some clothes. <laughs> what do we think? I mean, I uh, feel like I'm wearing a far coat. I feel like, now this, by the way, will button either direction. So if you want to wrap it like this, or if you want to wrap it like this, it'll button either way. I think it's cute. I mean, can y'all see the shoes? It doesn't make sense to me to be wearing this big, thick jacket and have peep toe shoes. You know what I mean? That doesn't make sense to me. Uh, I don't know if that's just my logic because my feet are cold. <laughs> I had to take off my fuzzy socks, y'all. But, yeah, I'd keep them on if you needed to be outside in the cold. All right, I'm not outside. I'm inside. Whew. It is hot. It's pretty warm. I think this is cute. If I was somebody who wanted to iron or steam or do that kind of stuff, I kind of think I'd go for this. I didn't know how I'd feel about this top. By the way, this is removable. You could actually take this off if you didn't want to wear the tie. And I think it's a cute top. A little bulky up here. But I think the tie is a cute detail. I don't know that I'm going to keep it simply because I don't want to do all the ironing and such. So it's probably going to go. The pants are okay. They were a little hard for me to get on. And being that they come to right here, they are going to make the muffin top stick out. If I was wearing a tight shirt, it would show like crazy. Otherwise, they're fine. They're cute. That jacket shed on them. The shoes I don't care for. 
they are actually rubbing me right here, which is not comfortable, and sliding around. So if they were actually tighter on me, I don't think I could stand them. So these, no go. This whole outfit, I'm not even sure about the jacket. Probably not going to keep. Let me go to the next one. Now be honest, how many of you went, oh good grief, she's wearing a curtain. Because that's what I did. <laughs> I'm wearing a curtain with some pants that come way too far down and are bulging me out. Girl, y'all, I almost did not get in these pants. I was wiggling and squiggling just as much as I could. And I was like, they're not even going to come up past my underwear. How am I going to try them on? I finally got in them. But you can see all of my stretch marks my son gave me. I mean, barely to my belly button, these things come barely to my belly button my booty is stuck so tight in these jeans i don't know how i'm gonna get out of them but they are cute and maybe if they were a size up and a higher rise but no, no, no. and the top these are adjustable so i could tighten it up but it was way down here when i first tried it on i don't think i would like it tightened up because of my neck issues and it would have to be ironed. But like I said, I feel like I'm wearing a curtain. Uh, it's just a big no for me. Very not my style. I'm going to put my jeans and my shirt back on to try on that jacket to give it a fair chance. So I think this jacket is one of those things that just looks better on the model. I mean, I had to kind of fuss with these and with all this to get it to look right. It, it feels, I mean, it's not too big. It, it could be a little more tailored to me, but it's the right size. Um, I just don't love it as much as some of the other ones that I have. So, but it's a good jacket. It would be warm. It would be, you know, nice and grown for somebody who liked the look like I do. It's just, this one is just not for me. I don't like the buttons either. They have a, a sharp lip. And if you're going to be working those buttons, you don't want something that's going to feel like it's going to cut you, which it kind of feels like it's going to cut me. And the pockets, I like to put my hands in my pockets and they're top pockets. And I don't love that either. I like the look of the top pockets. I just don't like the convenience of them. So yeah, let's just do a recap. All right, y'all, I'm back. <laughs> I'm missing a cardigan. I forgot to put it back on. Uh, <laughs> I'm a little stressed out. Just a little bit. It's the holidays. Um, okay. These pants, I did not think I was... No, wait. These are the Lees. Uh, they weren't high enough for me. They're fine. I just... They weren't a high enough rise for me. So, I'm not even going to consider them. Uh, y'all, I don't even like putting them on. But I do it for y'all. Um... The shoes I didn't like, I found them uncomfortable, harder than I like. I like some padding. This felt like it was going to rub me. And, you know, if they were tighter, because I have a very slender foot, it would definitely rub me. So if you have a wider foot, I would not, would not. But they are cute. I just, yeah. Next. I wasn't in love with the jacket, y'all. I mean, faux suede, and I'm not dying to have it. It's just... This was a little too much for me. This flap of extra material that's, you know, for aesthetic. But I just did not love it. Um, so it's going to go back as well. The curtain. I don't even know which way's up. I don't even know which way's up. thought there was something on it, but it's fuzzy from that other jacket. <laughs> I was like, oh. Um, mm-hmm. This, this thing, no, I didn't like it at all. I just, I felt like it was way too much material. It would have to be ironed. The three-quarter sleeves with the big ruffle, it, it's just not my style. It's, it's not me. I'm still debating on this one because part of me wants to keep it just to have it as a blanket. Uh, yeah, I'd wear it out. It's cute. It's, but it's warm. It's definitely going to be warm. Um, so I just have to decide if I want to pay the 47 ish dollars for it. There's an extra button floating around here somewhere that was not attached. 
I'll have to find that. Um, I'm just afraid it's going to be too hot for me. But it's super comfy, super cozy. Uh, if you have to walk the dogs in the middle of the night, that'd be great. That'd be great for you. Soft, soft, so soft. Um, these are the ones, the silver jeans. I think it was the silver jeans I couldn't quite get up. They were, oh my goodness, yeah. Uh, whew, too small, too tight, too low rise. Not going to happen. And that leaves the jewelry, which was also, what, 40 something dollars? 43 I don't need these earrings for $43. I don't. They're cute, but I don't need them. So if I keep, wait, I can tell you about this one. This one was cute too. The shoulders threw me off a little bit. And there, that's how that attaches, by the way, the tie. I think this is cute top, but you can, you can kind of see, you know what I mean? Um, I like the row of buttons. I don't know why I'm digging the row of buttons right now, but I am. I've got it inside out, so I'm having to flip it, but I'm not going to keep it. I'm, I'm not. So if I keep anything, it's going to be the teddy bear uh, jacket that's nice and long and cozy and blankety, but I'm not even sure I'm going to keep that. Um, what do y'all think? I, I'm, I'm in a mood today because I'm stressed, so I may be being extra harsh today. Am I being extra harsh? I want to know y'all's opinions. Y'all comment below. Thank you so very much for spending part of your day with me. I hope the rest of it is wonderful. Y'all, God bless.